Another one is obviously the recent unfortunate assassination of Charlie Kirk. Like, yes, that would be an example. Would, yeah, because there's a lot of issue right about the weapon mm -hmm. and the suspect and all of the kind of the timeline doesn't. Yeah, quite. Yeah, so, yeah. So I mean, this They're would be another sell something. Yeah, you know, a, an empirical yeah. thing that would be um, valuable in that context. Yeah, it's kind of the holy grail of modern forensics. Okay, is to find fingerprints from bullet cases that have already been fired, mm -hmm. right? Because then you can tie a suspect to actually loading the gun rather right. than just possession of the firearm. That's actually, that's an important distinction. Right? Yeah. It's a, it's a really cool methodology involving electro deposition. Um, the paper is out in forensic chemistry by Maynooth University in Ireland. The fingerprints are typically destroyed whenever a firearm discharges, right? Mm -hmm. Because you have stuff like 500 degrees Celsius, Pressures of 50,000 pounds per square inch. Um, and this method exploits some organic residue that's that remains even after all of this stress. Mm. And it like amplifies that organic residue to create a fingerprint. Uh, I, and I it's see. it's very cool. The theory of the case is there's no organic residue that will be left after the bullet is fired yeah. because it's just going to get burned. Yeah, up. like the proteins, the oils and the lipids, it's gone. But their hypothesis was there's going to be a little indicator yeah. still left despite all of that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and it should be the burned up ash of all of that of, stuff. Of all of that stuff. Right. Leaves, the, and there should something. be a little bit left. Mm -hmm. Right. And if there's even a little bit left, there's a chance. Yeah. You're, so, you're you're saying, yeah. so you're saying there's a chance. <laughs> exactly. And so and so that's that's what they're doing here. They can actually do old casings as well. They tried to do oh. a fingerprint from a 16-month-old casing, and they were actually able to recover a fingerprint, mm -hmm. which is, uh, you know, so this isn't like just now. They could be going back. This is okay. Yeah. Look. So <laughs> look. if you thought you got away, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's actually very a very important detail. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because it uh, kind of, you know, I think because, for example, if, for all the fans of true crime podcasts, etc., with the advent of DNA yeah. testing, a lot of cold cases have effect have been reopened. Yeah, and you know people have started to you know uh, get caught for stuff they did ages ago. Yeah, uh, this is another. There's another one. Another yeah. lever that could unlock a lot yeah. of stuff there. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's a lot of recent cases I can think of where this existing uh, would have been value. I mean, Meg the Stallion and had a case with. Uh, that little rapper that I can't remember his name right now, who's in jail, and like it has this issue of they fingerprinted the gun, but uh, they they not the casings. Oh, that were okay, shot. Yeah, and so like that would be a case where yeah, it would be yeah. interesting.